Hey everybody, it's your favorite Grandmaster. Oh wait, no it's not, it's me. Grandmaster Ben Feingold with Five Minutes with Ben. And today's game was played in Maribor in Slovenia in 2012. And the reason I know that, well it tells me, but also I was there at the tournament and I analyzed the game with the winner after the, after the game. I was one of the coaches for America. So white is uh, Voronsov. And black is Caden Schroff. Um, Caden Schroff was only, I think, 13 years old during this game, but he became a grandmaster later, and he's still a grandmaster. Okay, so in this position, black is up two pawns, but as you can see, white has some attacking chances. Okay, and our hero, Trof, has black, and white played the best move, bishop to f6. And now Black played a series of scintillating moves, which ended up winning the game. And I mean, any chess player who ever lived would be really proud of themselves if they found these moves. Even the engine would be proud of itself. I'm not sure how, but that's how good the moves are. So in this position, Black played the only move that wins. But let's look at some variations. If Black takes the bishop, then we take the knight and you can't take the rook, although your f-pawn is attacked, knight f6 check. So you're already losing here. If you take the rook, rook takes check, takes, and knight takes pawn check, and uh, uh, black, black is in uh, a lot of trouble here. Um, let's see, I want to... That's right. Okay, so if king h8, queen takes h7 is mate. Sorry, I got confused for a second. If king g7, knight takes queen is winning the queen with check. If king f8, we check first, defending the c1 square, then we take the queen. Okay, so it all works out for white. So you can't take the bishop. And in this position, black only has one move that wins. So pause the video if you want and try to find the winning move for black. Good luck. And we're back. Okay, so in this position, black played the only winning move, rook to e2. An amazing move. Threatening, rook takes rook checkmate. Okay, so white has to do something about that. And in this position, the idea is if the rook moves away, uh, then we can take the, the, the bishop on f6. So I'll give you an example like, what's the point of rook e2? What if I just move away? Well, now that exact same variation, that, that, that doesn't work. Okay, knight takes check. You can't, there's, there's, there's nothing going on here. Black is just winning. There's, the rook on e1 has to be able to take the rook on e8 for that threat to work. So we can't move the rook away because we just take the bishop on f6. We can't take the queen because you get mated in one. Okay, so white took the rook. It's like, all right, why'd you give your rook away? Now black made the only winning move, but it's the only move that makes sense after rook e2, queen c7. That's why black played rook e2. He gets the white rook off the back rank, so he's threatening mate, and he's also threatening the rook. And then if black takes the rook, black's up two pawns, and white's attack is finished. Okay, Voronsov played the correct move, rook f to e4. He stopped the mate, and he saved his rook. Okay, and Trove said, you didn't save your rook. I take your rook. And now Trove once again is threatening queen c1 mate. White played queen g5, which not only stops mate, but threatens mate. Okay, amazing. Now in this position, black played the only move that wins. I think this is the hardest move of the, pro of the puzzle. I think so. Although, man, rook e2 and queen c7 were pretty hard. This is the only move that wins. Very tough to find. Again, pause your video. You keep pausing the five-minute video, it's going to make it a 10-minute video. Black to play and win. Okay, and hopefully you solved it. Well, if you solved it, you're probably pretty good. Black played rook to c8, and this threatens queen c1 check, which leads to mate. And the knight is defending g7 for the moment, so white isn't threatening mate yet. Okay, white played bishop b2, which stops queen c1. Black played queen d8, which is the best move. It's not the only winning move, but it's the best move. Queen d8. Black wants to trade queens and go into the two-pawn up end game. And black wants to play queen d1 mate also. White played knight f6 check. Black has to play king h8, and he did. 
And then white blundered here, but white's losing anyway. White played rook to d2. This is a tactical blunder. Black to play and win. You don't have to pause your video because you've already done that twice. Black wins by playing the brilliant tactical move. Did you find it? It's a brilliant tactical move. Queen takes f6. And you can't take with the bishop because you'll end up getting mated on the back row. And if you take with the queen and take with check and I play king g8, black is up a piece for nothing. So after queen takes f6, white resigned. Black made several only moves that won. He found all of them. And in the end, Trofe did win the tournament. He was the world under 14 champion. Go Trofe. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was a really exciting game for me because I was there at the game and I saw the analysis right afterwards and we were just amazed. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with more 5 Minutes with Ben. Bye.